Hello everyone, I'm Trev Talks. Thanks for tuning in. I got my Hawaiian shirt on today because my wife and I are going to Maui soon in honor of our honeymoon. We were supposed to go last year but couldn't due to COVID so we are doing it this year and I am pumped for it. Anyways, I'm talking about living in California versus Arizona. We're comparing the two. I grew up in California for 18 years, came out to Arizona for college, ended up staying, buying a house here, planning on living here for a while. I'm gonna talk about why I made that decision and then compare the two, which one has the disadvantages in certain areas, which one has the advantages. We're gonna break them down from my experience as well as what the numbers say. Leave me a like below, let's get into it. So what I'm gonna do to compare these two places is bring up a bunch of categories that you might think of when deciding if you want to live somewhere or move somewhere, what are the big things you wanna decide and what are the big factors that each city has that will help you decide if you actually want to live there or if you should stay where you're at. So here are the top seven that I chose. Number one, affordability. Two, safety. Three, education. Four, the weather. Five, the scenery, six, the job opportunities, and seven, the entertainment. They are in no particular order. They are all very important, but some can be more important for other people, so there's no particular order. So there was a research done by actually the state of Missouri, the government actually did this survey, and they were doing the cost of living for each state and breaking down different categories and making a kind of index for how much each state lives to cost and compare to the others. So we're gonna take a look at that study results. So if you can see here the cost of living data series and if you can see on that map the green is really good while as we get to red that means it's a high cost of living. We can kind of see where this is going. So we have grocery, housing, utilities, transportation, health, and miscellaneous and they rated all these categories and it looks like a hundred is kind of the average and then below is good, higher is bad and so when we break this down we're gonna look at the two states we really care about which is Arizona coming at 32, that means they're the 32nd highest cost of living state. So they're in the middle of the pack at 32, and then California coming in at 49, so one of the most expensive states to live in. And as you can see at 204, right in the middle there, it's due to housing. So they are quite high on the cost of living index. So we know that California is more expensive to live in than Arizona, but what really matters is how much are people making in California compared to how much they're spending on those everyday items, including rent and your housing, your electricity, your grocery bill, all those things. So we're gonna break down things. Uh, this is the census that the government does and they talk about the median income and then the median rent and how much people are paying on their mortgage. Let's take a look at those. So in Arizona, the median household income is 62,843 and this is in 2019, those numbers on the right are. So 62,843 and then the cost of housing. So if you own a mortgage, your medium monthly cost are probably around 1595 and your median rent is 1062. We can take a look at California now. Their median household income is 75,235. So a big jump, uh, but then also we see the median selected monthly owner cost with the mortgage 2357 and then the median gross rent is about 1500 so that is some big jumps but when we look at it california is going to make 16 percent more household income than arizona that's a pretty big jump they're making 16 percent more than arizonians but they're going to pay 32 percent more in their average mortgage payment including all the taxes and all that good stuff, 32% more than Arizonians are, and then they're gonna pay 29% more in rent. So although they are making 16% more on average than Arizonians, they are paying much, much more when it comes to housing, and that's where you can see that Arizona actually is a cheaper place to live when it comes to, compared to your income, compared to housing, because although Arizona is making less, you're spending much, much less on housing. Another key factor is your income tax, and we kind of all know this already, but Arizona is going to win fairly easy on this by a very wide margin. Let's look at the current income brackets right now. Arizona, if you make over $318,000, you're only going to pay 4.5% on your income tax. You can see the below numbers. While in California, if you are making $300,000, you are paying a 9.3% income tax. And you can see the numbers, they speak for themselves. You are paying close to double in almost every single category in California, except at those very lower levels, you are gonna be paying a similar amount. But if you're making under 150 grand, you're gonna be paying so much more in taxes in California than Arizona. 
So it kind of depends where you are in that tax bracket, but if you're making a lot of money, man, you can see the advantages of living in Arizona when it comes to that income tax. We're also gonna look at property taxes, and these don't make a jumbo difference, but they still do make a difference. In Arizona, the property tax is 0.62%, which is below the national average, that's great. California is also below the national average at 0.73%. So not a huge, huge difference there. Not gonna break the bank in California compared to Arizona when it comes to property tax, but it still is cheaper in Arizona. And then lastly, we're gonna look at sales tax. Again, this is not gonna break your bank, but it is still gonna make a difference, especially on those big purchases. In Arizona, we're looking at a 5.6% tax rate for sales, and then a 7.25 tax rate in California. So you can see there are differences in all of them, but really I think the income is gonna make the difference depending on how much you make. It is gonna be a better decision for you to live in Arizona. But overall, I think as far as affordability, it is quite clear. Arizona takes the cake in every single category in taxes and in income compared to how much you're paying in housing. It is much cheaper to live in Arizona. That is quite obvious but that is not always the most important thing when choosing a state to live in. So an extremely important factor for deciding if you should live somewhere is safety. And this is a difficult one to talk about because it is very specific on your area. Obviously living in Scottsdale is much different than living in Maryville. If you're in the Phoenix area, you know those two places. Scottsdale, very nice, very safe in the correct areas. Maryville, known for not being the most safe. So this is very dependent on the city and even the street, but just on a statewide basis, California is gonna be considered a safer place, which was honestly, to my surprise, don't know why, I just assumed Arizona was gonna have lower crime rates. Now it isn't a crazy difference, but as we can see, crime rate in Arizona is 4.55 people per 1,000. You're wanting lower, you're wanting less crimes per 1,000 people. While in California, it is 4.41. So not the most drastic difference, but there is a difference there. And you can see that overall in the state of California, it is slightly safer to live there than overall in the state of Arizona. Again, not the biggest impact because if you're in the right areas in both, you're gonna be safe. If you're in the wrong areas of both, you're not gonna be safe. So it's just really dependent more on a more narrowed down focus when it comes to safety. Education is gonna be our third category and this is a very important one, especially for the families out there. According to usnews.com, California ranked 40th in the country when it comes to overall education as far as college readiness, test scores, graduation rates, all those good things. They came in 40th, which is not great. That is 40th on the bad end. Um, and that does not sound great, but Arizona came in a poor 47th in the country in those categories, which is not great. There isn't a huge gap there, but you can see California does have the upper hand. Where I think California really has the upper hand is going to be their funding. Arizona is ranked 49th in the country when it comes to funding, and California is ranked 21st in the country. So neither of them are at the top, but California is much, much better than Arizona when it comes to funding per student. And what that means for you as a parent is that your students may not be getting an extremely high quality education because they're not testing great or graduating great compared to the rest of the country, but you will get a better classroom experience when it comes to technology, better curriculum, teachers that probably are happier with their pay in California than in Arizona. Most Arizona teachers do not like their pay while California teachers are not as upset maybe as Arizona. I know plenty of California teachers who are very happy actually with their pay. So funding is a big difference um, between the two states when it comes to education, and California definitely has the upper hand in the education category. This is an easy one and everyone knows it, but the weather when comparing the two, California easily takes the win, especially if you're living in Southern California, you have a unique climate, only found a few places in the world where you're between the 60s and 90s, almost year round, which is incredible. And while in Arizona, you are in the heat for a minimum of five months. For five months of the year, there's an average of over 90 degrees in those months. And for three of those months, is an average of over 100 degrees. So those five months are quite brutal. Now from fall to early spring, weather is pretty nice in Arizona. You really don't have any wind. You don't ever get to freezing cold, but you cannot compare it to California. They just have such good weather over there. And I think that's one of the biggest draws of living in California is just how unique and awesome that climate is. And that can be a deal breaker for a lot of people because it's just so nice over there. And the summers in Arizona are brutal. I mean, the, the, the months when you wanna be outside playing with your kids, 
you better be at a water park or you're not really gonna be enjoying that time outside. So California easily takes the weather category. Now, where I grew up in Southern California, it was a very desert town. Um, it was more inland, so not as green as many places. And it looks a little bit like Arizona, so I can't compare the two too well, but I have been to plenty of other places in Southern California. And when it comes to scenery, I think Southern California takes this one pretty easily. Obviously, if you're near the beach, you are dominating this category because it's so beautiful by the beach. But in general, California is fairly green. They have a lot of natural green growing plants and grass. Arizona does not have many natural green things. You're going to see a lot of dirt. Even on the mountains, they are going to be brown and filled with cactus trees. While in California, most mountains have some decent greenery to them. If you go up to the mountains like in Flagstaff in Arizona, obviously you're gonna get some nice green up there. It's very mountain field. It's not desert at all, so it's very pretty up there. But when it comes to scenery, again, I gotta say California takes the win quite easily in this category. Another key factory is gonna be the job opportunities in each state. Which one is growing in jobs? Which one has the more job opportunities? This is very important for people who are deciding if they wanna to move to a state. You would never wanna move states if your job opportunities are declining and you may not have a job in a few years or you may not be able to find a job when you get there. So this is a very important category. So let's look at some key numbers here. So the job markets in the two, the current unemployment is at 10.6% in Los Angeles, California. They're broken down into the two cities because it's better data, more accurate data, closer to the cities, you can judge a little better. LA, 10.6%, Phoenix, 6.6% unemployment. So both are over the US average, but Phoenix has 4% less unemployment, which is great. Future job growth, this is kind of a prediction off the current job growth. Uh, you can see Arizona is 12%, almost 12% higher than California. The recent job growth, California has lost a ton of jobs in this pandemic, which is horrible to see. Not great, but they have been much more strict in their shutdowns, which is hurting their employment. And then when you see the 10 year job growth, I think this is the biggest difference between the two states when it comes to the economy and the job opportunities. They're expecting to see 22% more jobs in Phoenix, Arizona in 10 years and only 2% in California. That is not a great number. You wanna see a much higher number for that yearly job growth. 22% is incredible, 2% is not good. That's a little bit scary because our population is growing by more than 2% over a 10 year span. And that is not great numbers. As you can see, Arizona is gonna easily win that category. At least Phoenix is gonna win that category when it comes to job opportunities. Entertainment, this is the fun category. I think a lot of people are gonna assume that California takes this easily, but let's break it down. I'm gonna compare the two major cities of LA and Phoenix when it comes to entertainment, not the entire states, just the main areas where there's a downtown. And when you compare the two, I would say it's very similar and there's advantages for each. I think LA dominates entertainment when it comes to, for one, the name of Hollywood, and LA itself, that's where all the celebrities wanna be. You're gonna find a lot of famous people living in LA, and the one thing that LA has that Phoenix does not and will never have is the beach. This is just a great form of entertainment, especially for families. A free day vacation to the beach is incredible, it's unbeatable, and I really think that might be what beats LA compared to Phoenix in the entertainment category. When it comes to sports teams, they both have it all. LA has so many different sports teams and so does Phoenix and concerts, all that good stuff. Very similar when it comes to they have lots of events to do. But the difference I think is in Phoenix, you're pretty much 30 minutes away from any major sports team. I mean, I live 30 minutes from a pro sports team in all of those categories here in Phoenix. And I don't think you can say that in LA. I mean, maybe if you lived right downtown, you might be able to say that. But in general, it is so much longer to get from place to place in LA. Traffic is so much worse there. So you cannot say you're 30 minutes away from all the major sports teams in LA. So although they probably have just as much, if not more entertainment in LA, it's gonna be much more spread out and a longer distance between the two places if you wanted to go to different events. But other than that, I think they're equal, except LA has the beach and you just can't beat the beach. They both have mountains. Uh, California has more options when it comes to mountains. I mean, they got Big Bear, Mount Baldy, Wrightwood. Arizona really has Flagstaff. That's their big ski route. That's where they have the mountain areas with snow. And that's really only about two hours away from Phoenix. So it's not a bad drive, but that's their only spot for it. But it is great. I do love me some Flagstaff. 
So I would say California edges them out mostly because of the beach, but when it comes to entertainment, I think Phoenix is much more centralized and everything is much closer together. I mean, you have the basketball and the baseball stadium, the Dimex and the Suns literally share parking lots to each other. So that's pretty cool. Same with the Coyotes and the Cardinals. They're literally right across from each other. So entertainment is very centralized here in Arizona. We're in LA, I think it's a little bit more spread out. So in summary, let's take a look at the seven again. Number one, affordability. I think Arizona takes that very easily in all aspects of affordability. Arizona is a cheaper place to live. When it comes to safety, California does beat Arizona out slightly, not by much, but they do beat them out. When it comes to the weather, I think California takes it easily. Scenery, again, California takes it very, very easily. Education, California is gonna slightly win. I don't think it's a huge margin, but they do take the win in that category. And then job opportunities. This is again, an easy win for Arizona when it comes to the economy of things. Arizona seems to take that one very easily. Entertainment, I think is almost a tie, but California takes it up a notch with the beaches. So I do think you have more entertainment out in California. And so in summary, what I would say is financially, Arizona seems to be a much better place to live. It's cheaper to live, you have more job opportunities, taxes are lower, it seems to be a better place to live, but you are gonna be missing out on the weather, a little bit better education, a little bit safer, and some much nicer scenery. And of course, you're gonna be missing out on the beaches. I have to say as someone who's lived in California their whole life, except for the past about five years, the beach is something I do miss and I go back at least once a year to go to the beach because it is such an awesome place. So California does take the bait in that category. So there's the big summary. I would say I'm living in Arizona because of the affordability and the growth I'm seeing in this state. I would definitely not be owning a house in California right now. I do not think I could afford that. So that is why I am living in Phoenix. If you are thinking of buying a place in Phoenix or thinking of moving, feel free to reach out to me. My number is gonna be on the screen here in a second. I'm a licensed realtor out here. Even if you're not thinking of moving to Arizona, I have a national database of all realtors where I could help you find the right one. I could do the research for you and tell you which ones are the best. I have a national database of this and I could let you know who's gonna be the best in your area. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a like below, comment if I missed anything about the differences of limiting the two. If you've lived in both states, tell me which one you have enjoyed better. Thanks for watching.